Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over how to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro 10. Now obviously you want to record yourself um, first before you do any of this, and then what I just basically did was I imported the entire clip. So yes, this was shot in one fail swoop. I did not like, like record one section, then cut it, come back, record, cut it. I literally just hit record, and then I just filmed the entire video. It's always important to do that because you might end up hitting the camera and something might be tilted. Um, so when you cut the mask, it's going to be off. Um, always remember to do that. Uh, it's just going to look really weird to just record it in one fail swoop. Now, as you can see right here, I'll go ahead and pull, play the first clip. So obviously, whatever you do, you have to record yourself twice. So there you go. As you can see right here, here is the first clip. I'm doing the first clip right here, and then if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm playing Rock, Paper, Scissors. If you're unaware of what, what that game is, you're probably very confused. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm just doing. So as you can see right here, here is the first clip right here. I just record myself doing this. And then I, I always encourage you to do, a, do it a couple times just in case um, something's off. Uh, but as you can see right here, uh, then I go ahead and then I just walk over right here and then I just basically redo it again so and then I go from the other side um, so that's literally how you basically clone yourself you record both things and then you use a mask to cut yourself right down the middle or to cut the clip right down the middle um, so always keep that in mind and remember if you're doing something like this what I basically did was if you watch me if you count I do three two one go so i basically come with a count three two one go so i mean i could just put, do rock paper scissors but i came with a count because everything has to be like the same so when i put my hand out i also need to put my hand out here at the same time or else it doesn't work so always keep that um in mind and also make sure that when you do your when you clone yourself you can't be like interacting with yourself you can't be touching yourself because the mask is going to cut one of you off and it's going to look really weird so make sure you're far enough apart where you don't end up interacting with each other um, because yes that's not going to work and you can have to reshoot the entire video as you can see right here here are the two color coded clips i copy and pasted them and put them into the final um, project and then I basically just used markers to basically as you can see right here I marked um, in like a certain situation where I have to know that I have to be interacting with my interacting with myself as you can see right here there we go marked and then marked. it's always good uh, just press the M key on your keyboard and markers are incredibly important and you just have to use them they're just gonna they're just incredibly crucial now, as you can see right here how did I create this effect masking as you can see right here i went a little intense with the masking because i had a problem with the shadows like it was like like the chair was like half lit up and half dark um and honestly uh, i'll go ahead and uh, it's always, this is always a good idea to go ahead zoom in 600 400 percent and something like this as you can see right here look there you go thankfully i'm not so you had to go a little bit in with the mask as you can see right here there you go i'm not cutting off my hand and then boom i'm not cutting off my hand not cutting off my hand so it's always important when you're doing stuff like this and you're using the mask tool that you don't as you can see right here i don't cut off i don't cut it off and i don't cut off you want to make sure that you don't end up cutting yourself off so always zoom in really close to make sure you're not cutting yourself off um that's always incredibly crucial again that just makes your video look more professional um it's okay if you mess up with the masking if it's just your first time um believe it or not this is my first time i've never made a cloning video in my entire life um so as you can see right here i'll go ahead and show you how to do the masking um but i also encourage you to increase the feathering just so the edges aren't sh uh, super sharp i increased it a lot because i really messed up with the shadows in the end i think it all looked really really good but always increase the feathering um i also inverted the mask too i'll give you a, qu a quick demonstration of of how to do that but there you go so let's go ahead and i'll just give you a very very quick brief demonstration of how to do this so let's copy and paste this let's go over to the top right here and let's click off the draw mask and as you can see right here obviously cloning is basically two different layers so let's head over here to the draw mask apply the draw mask on the top clip don't apply it onto the bottom clip because that literally makes no uh, sense. Nothing is going to happen. So what you're just doing here, again, this isn't going to be perfect, but this is basically just a quick little demonstration of how to do it. So you're basically just putting the mask um, in between yourself. Um, uh, let's zoom out, wait for it to render. Computer is not the fastest, as you probably heard in some of my past videos, but it gets the job done. So let's wait for it to render. And then let's go out to like 
and again very very rough mask and because i've already done this a couple times it might be a little bit slow um, but we'll wait for it to render but that's literally how you do it you basically layer on top of each other and then you use a draw mask um, as you can see right here let's just put let's do it quick before my uh, i'll wait a little bit but as you can see right here boom there is the mask right here then let's go over here to boom invert mask and you can increase the feathering a little bit just to make sure the edges aren't su uh, super sharp i would say 90 percent now as you can see you're going to eventually um see what i'm talking about with the shadows um, so that's why i mess with the masking a little bit i actually may have cut myself off uh, i'll go ahead and fix that if i did uh, it's always a good idea to go through it so let's rewatch the entire clip so as you can see right here yep see uh, that's the definition see i cut myself off so let's just increase the mask here again not gonna be perfect rough cut but yeah that's always what you want to make sure that you don't end up cutting yourself off and you're not going to know until you uh, like watch the entire video so let's go ahead and press play and as you can see right here there you go you have created a clone of yourself i think that's a really cool effect um and hopefully you guys enjoy the video um hopefully you found it incredibly helpful and informative make sure to hit that subscribe button i'm giving away a google home mini once i reach a thousand subscribers see you guys in the next one peace